also threw us a curveball releasing armored core 6 fires of rubicon the only downside is the story's non-existent but do i even care not really i just want to shoot robots what the f hello everyone my name is tom otherwise known as titanium leg man and if you know me you know the channel you know that primarily i cover turn-based strategy rpgs and the news around them with the occasional branch off into some of my own personal passions such as armored core 6 which is the topic of today's video so if you enjoy what I do, my coverage, my presentation, or just the types of games that I talk about, a like and a subscription would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much. So yeah, if the intro didn't tip you off, today we're talking about the fact that there's this weird ongoing narrative around Armored Core 6 that its story is bland or uninteresting or even worse, non-existent, which is something I've seen parroted a few times now by big name YouTubers such as Angry Joe and most recently, The Act Man. And while this is nothing new in the frame of FromSoft games, especially the Dark Souls series and things like that, people talking about how the story is kind of obtuse or hidden in lore and item descriptions, things like that has to be pieced together by big names like Vadividia and other lore content creators. But with Armored Core 6, it's extremely surprising to see because this is easily one of the most, if not the most straightforward digestible stories that the company's put out in years like this is the most clear cut that i think fromsoft has potentially ever done a story if we're being completely honest here at least in their modern catalog and yet when you have people like act man come in and just flat out say to the camera the story doesn't exist like i'm sorry i try not to get too heated on this channel but like do you have functioning ears? Do you have eyes? If you have at least one of those, you should be able to clearly see or hear that that is so not true. You don't have to go diving into lore entries. You don't have to go digging through item descriptions. You don't need to hit up the wiki and YouTube to find out what a character is talking about. They tell you, plain as day, from the moment you get in here, this is our mission. We've come to Rubicon to get Coral. Why? Coral is super valuable. It winds up being more involved later, but that gets explicitly told to you as well. Like, you're a mercenary on a mission. You got to get paid so you can get all these augmentations you've got undone and go basically earn your life back. There's a bunch of corporations and factions at play. They all want Coral, and they all want you to go get it for them until they decide that they want to kill you because everyone's a backstabber. Period. That's it. Like, that is the general premise, and that is set up from mission one, and it only gets more elaborate and more clearly laid out from there. Every single character's allegiance is either extremely clear when it's supposed to be extremely clear, or obviously muddled when they are obviously someone who's a little bit of a double crosser. Light spoilers ahead, but like, look, let's look at Rusty, our buddy, V4 of the Vespers, who's one of the coolest characters in the game, who comes out swinging on your side and only turns out later is actually a double agent who's playing both sides and either will work with you if your goals wind up aligning with his or fight you if your goals wind up not aligning with his. But it's very clear as to why. He states, I have something to fight for. Rubicon needs me. I'm the only one who can do this if you're fighting him. Or, you know, you and I are on the same side. It's clear that you care about Rubicon. It's clear that you care about its people. I've got your back. You would have to be willfully ignorant and blind and not listen to any mission descriptions, not pay attention to any briefings, or listen to anything that's going on in any mission dialogue to think that there's no story at all, let alone not actually stopping and thinking about what you're doing or taking the time to read text logs that you can find that give extra context that make the story even more clear. Like, it is laid out from point A to point B what Coral is, what it does, why it's a big deal, both for the monetary purposes and the fact that it's a sentient thing that can explode and take over the galaxy, and every single character's motivations are clearly laid out. Air wants you to protect the coral because it's her people and she thinks it has a right to live and can coexist with humanity. Walter wants you to burn the coral because he's terrified of what's going to happen, that there could be another Fires of Ibis that could wipe out the entire universe this time. Carla wants to do whatever Walter wants to do. Archibus and Balaam both want to take over for themselves to gain the most military power and make the most money that they can off of the coral. Archibus winds up winning out in that regard because they've got better military tactics. Rip my boys at Balaam, the red guns represent. Like, I can just rattle this all off to you off the top of my head because it's that clear cut. I don't have any notes. 
I'm not reading off of a wiki right now. I just know because I paid attention. And yeah, I loved the game, so I played through all the new game routes and everything, and I heard mission dialogue multiple times, but if you're someone who's going to try and say that there's no story, you have to actually play through the entire story and listen to it to say, oh, well, this story is a nothing burger. It's not a nothing burger. <laughs> like, I know, I'm sorry, I know I'm rambling right now, but I'm just so fed up with people, with these big audiences and this wide reach trying to downplay one of the best aspects of this game that to me was one of the best stories in gaming in 2023. Of everything that I played, I think the story in Armored Core 6, its themes, its characters, and the way it executes on those things and uses them to its advantage was some of the best that I experienced in 2023 alongside Baldur's Gate 3. And I don't know if it's just because you don't have actual physical characters there talking or if it's just like because it's all voices and like abstract political dealings between different factions. Not that it's even that abstract. It's pretty clear cut what's going on. But still, like I don't know what it is that gets in people's heads that tells them this is a bad story when like it's like reading a good book. Yeah, you can't visualize, or you you, sh you have to visualize, I should say. You have to visualize the faces for yourself. It's not put there on screen for you with a mo-capped actor reading the lines. We all have functional brains, I think, I hope. Like, it's not that hard to imagine what a character looks like, to imagine what context there is behind what they're saying that informs you about their motivations, about what they're doing and why they want to do it and then seeing your own considerations about that pay off as the story unfolds and it gives you the answers because it does give you all of the answers like it just baffles me that people don't seem able or willing to do that and again i don't know if it's just people who are trying to review games who are skipping through cutscenes, not paying attention to dialogue and just getting through the gameplay and largely it seems enjoying the gameplay which is good but I'm not sure what causes people to do that, but it just frustrates me because Armored Core 6 has such emotionally impactful moments in its story. Like, I was legitimately struggling to choose what route I wanted to take, to choose what ending I wanted to get the very first time I played through the game, because that for me was my canonical series of choices, because I cared so much about all the characters. I didn't want to betray Carla and Walter's wishes after they had done so much for me, after it was clear that I had gone from just being a tool that they could use to being an actual person who deserved to live and have their own life outside of this conflict. I didn't want to betray them, but at the same time, I didn't want to condemn Air and her entire species of the coral to the literal fires of hell by burning it all just for the sake of protecting humanity when it was never the coral's fault that it was being exploited by humanity in the first place. It was a really hard choice to make. And then when I made my choice and I sided with Air and I had to go and I had to fight Carla and Chatty and Walter. Like, yeah, I got to fight alongside Rusty, which was awesome. It made me feel better about it because Rusty's my boy. But like, I felt terrible killing these characters because like I had come to love them over the course of the story. And if there's no story, how can you have that reaction? It's, oh my God, it just blows me away. It astounds me. So, I just wanted to put this video out here, even though I'm a much smaller voice than people like Angry Joe, or Actman, or IGN, or what have you, because I wanted to provide that counterpoint. I don't want people to just see what these different creators and reviewers and journalists and whatever, I don't want people to just see what they have to say and go, oh, the story must just suck, and then either not pay attention to it, or if they're a story-driven person, not play the game, not get invested into it, because it's just outright wrong. It's just incorrect. And again, I can see when you have people like Angry Joe or IGN who are trying to like quickly get a review up and move on to other projects. Like if they just skipped through things, they didn't pay that close attention because they wanted to get the context that they needed and get their stuff out the door. Like fine, it's still bad, but fine. But then when you have someone like Actman, who this comment came from his wrap up wind up of the best and worst games of 2023 that he just recently put out, who then still says this stuff, it's like, bro, you've had months to marinate on this. And yeah, maybe he hasn't put that much time into the game because maybe it didn't interest him that much. He said it was fun enough, but the story was non-existent. That's pretty much all I had to say about it. But like, it still shows that there's just a lack of consideration. And that's what bothers me the most. To see a game series that is so important to me 
come back and be very largely critically acclaimed, very well received across the board, but to see such a good aspect of it completely trashed and thrown under the bus for no reason that I can possibly conceive of, it bothers me. So, yeah, this is not the t normal type of content that I would do on the channel, but I wanted to talk about it because it's just been in my head the last couple of days ever since I saw that clip that I played at the beginning of the video, and I, I needed to say something about it. So, if you guys have your own thoughts on this matter, by all means, let me know. If you have examples of other, like, big-name content creators, big-name reviewers actually praising the story or at least not dumping on it let me know link it in the comments because i'd like to see that so i can kind of know what sources to maybe trust a little bit in the future uh and i mean if you agree if you think that the story is just terrible or that you think that the story was non-existent let me know and like i respectfully i would like to rebut those statements because i do truly feel that it's incorrect and i feel like if we can at least have a discussion about it it'll lead to maybe some better understanding of the themes of the story and its characters and all that type of stuff but yeah just wanted to put this out here thank you all so much for watching my name has been tom otherwise known as titanium leg man go play armored core 6 if you haven't already i implore you go check it out it's tough but like i'm here to help other people are here to help and it's such a phenomenal experience that talks about the human condition and the dehumanization of war and machinery which is part of the reason that there's no like faces and human characters in the game it's part of the theme if you actually take the moment to pay attention to it you can't ever... it's it's a phenomenal experience i highly 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 recommend it check it out if you haven't at least watch some gameplay check out the story you'll enjoy it like nine times out of ten i think you'll enjoy it please for me uh but that said i hope you all have a good night stay safe and healthy out there and remember be good to each other bye now